Yep, that's right. Your favorite white boy from Ohio is back from his cross-country trip to California, and honestly, did I do anything there? I wonder, did I, did I really do anything there? Did like, did we just sit around, eat in and out Maybe just go to California, hang out at the farm, do nothing? Well, I'm gonna let you know in this video right here. All right, but first off, let me just drop a little no homo. We're gonna throw that in the corner there. Let's see, did the farmer tan really kick in? Hmm, am I really on the scooter farm now? Yeah, mm-hmm. White boy strikes again. All righty, now that that's back on, we'll go ahead and retract that keep for another day. But yeah, legitimately, this trip that I went on with the scooter farm to California, this entire cross country trip was my first legitimate scooter trip with the team. The experience and the amount of stuff that we got done was just so, so good. The amount of fun we had, the productivity, the memories, the places we went to, the spots we rode. I mean, I could go on for a while here. There were so many good things about this. But on the trip, essentially, each day went like this. We'd wake up in the morning, Doug would take us out to eat, I'm talking whatever breakfast we wanted, because that dude would treat us like kings. But we'd go get breakfast, whether it was like some new fast food place we haven't tried in said area, or we'd go get some bagels or this or that. Dude would drop literally like 50 bucks on us every morning. We'd get the biggest size every tea. That was Doug's favorite part about the trip. See, we had the riding going on. Doug's favorite part was taking us out to eat because he got to treat us like kings, and he did, which is why Doug's the best. But after breakfast, we'd go immediately to a spot because we literally had spot books. Like, if we didn't have somebody telling us the spots in said area, we would literally have a spot book showing us all the spots, location, pinned. We'd go from spot to spot, hitting them, filming, and literally bouncing around here and there all day until essentially we'd go get some food halfway through the day, either continue or maybe even go right in an indoor park around there, get some more food, and then at the end of the day, we go get dinner. And then, of course, at dinner, we conversate about the day, about the clips we've gotten, about the stuff we've seen, about the B-roll we got. And then when all that is said and done for the day, we go back to our beautiful $80 a night hotel. Whether it's a Super 8, something like that, you know, we get fancy. I mean, I mean, a couple of the hotels, like we stayed at, like, of course, like when we were in Arizona, we stayed on campus, so the rooms there were, like, literally top-notch. But then, of course, you know, maybe somewhere in, like, New Mexico, one of our hotels is absolutely straight out of a video game. People People walking around with 40 ounces just coming up to you while walking up to your room just like, hey man, you know, see a cop over at the front desk, man? Huh? I beat the fuck out of that dude, man. Literally like that thing happened. I'm like, I'm sick, man. Yo, hey, congrats, man. Follow your dreams. You do you. I'm just going to stay away from you really far. And then, of course, after a good night's sleep, we'd wake up, rinse and repeat, and we did that literally every state all the way through California. And wow, was it productive. The entire trip was seriously so good. The memories, the clips, the B-roll, everything we got. Literally almost every single part of it was so much fun with the gang. Like being on the road with like Tommy Christiana, Derek Marr, John Depp, J Hammy, Doug, and of course Bodie, because we picked him up, the little dog. Oh my God, cutest little dude. I mean, let's just take a second. I mean, me aside, Bodie's life, Bodie's brand new life. He's just starting off life. He's going on a cross country trip. I'm jealous. I mean, dude, it took me like 20 years to do that, buddy. And of course, after the trip was over, I was in California for about the end of the month, so like another 20 days. Pretty much like three to four weeks. And I just stayed on Doug's couch, because of course he was nice enough to let me stay there. Thank you, Doug, for letting me bum on your couch like a homeless man. I'd basically go from his house to the scooter farm that was like base camp, and then from there I'd figure out what I was going to do for the day, whether I was going to film a video, like going to Claremont, this or that. I mean, I filmed a couple when I was in Cal. You guys see them. But yeah, staying in California is pretty dope. I love it down there. I mean, being at the scooter farm is the absolute best. Claremont's, of course, dope. Linda Vista is gas and a lot of the other parks are really good. I just really like the vibes in California. There's just a lot of active scooter riders and just the scene is good down there. But you know, the scene in Ohio, <laughs> that's my forte. But yeah, when I was down at the scooter farm, I actually worked the last like five days before my flight home. So if you guys want to hear any of the funny stories that I have while working at the scooter farm, let me know in the comments below. I'm talking, I'm talking from booth scooters coming in that I'm trying to fix to me selling some scooters to some people that walk in the scooter farm. Just a couple funny reactions. But if you guys want to see me talk about those videos, let me know down below, because I do have some good stories. I definitely got it one in mind right now that's really good. Then, of course, I also did some lessons down at the scooter farm. They were mostly like kids eight to nine, so they were just going from like point A to point B, so that was pretty good. <laughs> I'm a great teacher at that. Hey, kid, why don't you go over to the other wall? Hey, yo, that's perfect. And you already know when I'm at farm, I'm sitting there 24-7 looking at every single part in the shop, and literally like I find a needle in a haystack, I see it, and I'm like, <gasps> oh my God. I couldn't believe my eyes. I literally looked at this thing, and I'm like, duck. I have to have it, it must be mine. And so with a little bit of farm credit and some bills, your boy got something very special from the farm. Something very special, in fact. Let me just grab this for you guys. Boom. Do you know what this is right here? This is a 125, 12 standard by 30 millimeter wide, dual urethane twin core wheel. Like, did you hear that? 
What? Did you hear all the specifications I just shot at you? I rode these at the farm for just a little bit, and I can tell you this right now. They are the best wheels in all of scootering by far. Not even remotely close to anything at all out on the market right now. Not even close. I'll probably make a video of riding these boys and reviewing them or something like that. And I'm even going to show you a little trick that I did with them that actually allows me to ride them. Because as I said, they're 12 standards, so the bearings are huge. My normal axle literally would not fit. So, what I've done is I've converted this over to an 8mm axle. Now, if you guys want me to make a video on this, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. But I'm gonna essentially make a video showing you guys how to convert your 12 centered wheels over to 8 millimeter and still get the advantages of a 12 center and bigger bearing. It's a win-win, so I'll do that eventually. But yeah, so I'm stoked on those. Those are gonna be so dope. I'm literally just gonna only ride them at Chang'e and they're gonna stay perfectly brand new forever. And of course I got an entire bag of spacers for these guys, a lot of stuff. But don't worry, that's not all I got, I got a couple other goodies. <laughs> like, like, let's be real, the first good one here is you already know I had to cop that Claudies for Tessie merch, baby! The smallest size, neon fam, I'm part of the clique now. Like what? What, is it weird that I got this? Dude, it's not, I had to get the whole fit. I had to get the whole collection, because of course I got the Funk Pro too. I mean, this merch literally is not even clothing to me, it's essentially just a prop. I'll use those for some one of these days. Probably some sort of skit. But all right, I did get some actual cool farm clothing, hold up. I got the blue tee right here, just a classic farm guy. Of course, it's on the back. And then this I'm hyped on, it's actually got a farm crew neck. This is so tight, long sleeve drawn. Tight, baby. So if you guys want to get any of the Claudius merch or some real clothing, of course, you know, cross in at the farm. If you use my promo code, you support me in the farm and I'll shout you out. You'll get so famous. Literally, like, I'm talking passing Tanner Fox and Taylor Leach in, like, 15 minutes. But, yeah, in general, my cross-country trip to California, the entire way to Cali, and once I was actually in California, everything. The entire last month has been... Seriously, so sick. I'm glad I got to share with you guys with a couple of videos here and there. Kinda wish I did some more, but the last week I was of course working at the farm, so I couldn't upload there, so. Didn't have time to run. But everything and every one down there is seriously so sick. This entire trip just really made me open my eyes and realize how good of a sponsor I have. The Scooter Farm seriously treats me and every one of their riders so well. Which is exactly why, again, I'm gonna have to promote it. Go ahead and support them. Cross 10 at the Scooter Farm and get 10% off their store, which is good. 10% off your parts don't pay full price. What are you doing? And the entire time you're supporting me, which, I mean, that might be an abomination. But you are supporting the farm the other 90%, so that's good. That's good. This, the 10%, maybe not so much. But yeah, cross 10, so please. I'm poor, I have no money after this trip. I really am. But yes, all right, that's pretty much all I had to say except for one very, very important thing at the end. The entire cross-country trip. Hmm? You think we just did nothing? Huh? Is that what you think? You think we didn't film things, dog? Oh, do I have something for you? We have the cross-country DVD coming really soon. In fact, I'm gonna say from the time that you've seen this video, I'm gonna say two weeks from now. Yes, that's right. Five guys on the road scootering. Cross-country with a brand new dog. And I can tell you this right now, it's a great, great video. Because I know the clips we got. I know the amount of work that each and every single person put into these clips. I know myself, I put in a lot of work. And I have a lot of good deaths. A lot of them. Because I was committed and I was passionate for this project. Scooter Farm took me onto this trip and you know I'm gonna throw down for it. And you'll see. You'll all see. I feel like I'm an evil villain telling my plan. But seriously, everyone threw down on this trip. So much commitment, so much passion went into it. And of course with Hammy behind the camera and editing this entire thing, guys, this entire DVD, it's going to be phenomenal. Hammy is so talented on the camera. Seriously, like, underappreciated. Like, so much credit to this dude. He's going to absolutely blow my mind with this DVD. And did I mention it's gonna be 40 minutes long? <laughs> did I mention that? 40 minutes long. Yes, 40 minutes of scootering, B-roll, trips, bums coming up to us, telling us whack stuff, all edited together in a high action, great DVD of a trip. I cannot wait. I can't wait. Actually, you know what? Maybe I can wait. But on my Instagram, I did post a teaser that Hammy threw together for the video to build some hype. And oh, it's got me hyped though, right? I saw this in the farm when we literally just got it done. Set it over us, we all gathered around, bro. I'm sitting there watching, I'm like, oh! Like, oh my god, it's gonna be good. And so I'm gonna throw this little teaser in the video right now. And I want you guys to really experience this right now. For the next 10 seconds, here you go. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Now let me break down this little teaser for you as fast as I can without giving anything away, okay? I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but I do want to tell you exactly what's going on from what I can see. 
All right, let's get into this. All righty, the Scooter Farm presents. All righty, Tommy can grab his scooter with one foot. Bodie is super cute. Tommy apparently can't rail. Scooter is thrown. John Depp is super mad. John Cross falls on rail. Derek misses a tail whip. Tommy only needs one wheel for that clip. Derek is falling over there. That statue is scary. My hands are bloody. Derek's doing a grind. And quota DVD available soon. Who's going to buy? When this DVD is available at the Scooter Farm, I'm telling you guys, you've got to cop this immediately. Absolutely. Absolutely immediately and go peep the footage. It's gonna be so good. I think we're gonna do something like if you spend 40 bucks at the farm or something like that, you're gonna get a DVD as well. I don't know, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Once that comes out, well, I'll give you the details. You'll see on my Instagram. But yes, quota is coming to a DVD near you soon. And I love that name. I love that name so much. To you guys, it might just be like, what? What it means to us is essentially throughout the trip, we were talking, we're like, yeah, man, we need to get like at least three clips a day, I'm saying. And if we don't meet that deadline, like, yo, that's our quota, bro. Like, seriously, if we don't get three clips a day, like, it's just not going to be enough footy, blah, blah, blah. So that was our quota. And I would say every single day we hit that quota. Oh, we did. There were even days we went way over. There were days where I literally had one clip. Should have had three. Then the next day, I make it up with five. So, always making that quota, baby. And the whole team did. And it's going to be so good. This entire DVD, you guys, it's going to be... Yep. So, what was I saying there? I'm sorry. The camera literally just died and I don't have my charger because it was at Chang at the time. And welcome to the next day. Hence why this didn't come out Thursday. But yeah, essentially, I don't know what I was going to say. I was probably just going to wrap it up. The DVD is going to be absolutely amazing. Seriously, get so hyped for that. And of course, subscribe to the channel because it's all about scootering on the channel. We come out with three videos a week. I'm talking Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when I actually have my things together. So I'm slacking a little bit right now. But I just got back from a trip, okay? Let me get lazy. And turn on post notifications because subscribing is not enough. You need to turn on the bell. Otherwise, you're going to miss the video. So hit the bell. Don't miss the videos. Don't miss out on the videos because we have a lot of things to talk about here in the future and a lot of scootering to do. But with all that being said, guys, go ahead and drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. And until the next time, Funk Fam out.